Metaverse had a real buzz uh, when when uh, Facebook changed their world their world to, uh, their name to Meta. A lot of conversation, and now the last three years, it's been AI. So let's begin by defining what is the Metaverse, what is XR, and how does AI play in all of that. Yeah, so um, I think there definitely is a lot of confusion about what the metaverse is, and particularly there's a lot of uh, conflation between the metaverse and Web three and you know crypto and so forth. I think those are uh, you know different areas. Um, they both have their place in the world, as, as you know. Um, but the, the simple way to think about the metaverse is really the three D version of the internet that the world has been building for the last 30, 40 years. Okay? But instead of having websites, we're gonna have 3D virtual worlds. And you know, humans, we've evolved over you know, millions of years to be optimized for a 3D space, you know, to be surviving in a 3D world. And so we actually had to adjust ourselves to 2D screens for the last you know, few dozens of years uh, as our way to communicate. Um, but you know, it, it makes a lot of sense for us to move you know into where our, our, we're most natural, and not just using things like keyboards and mice to interface, but using our hands, our, our eyes, our mouth, our bodies um, as the natural way of connecting with uh, the computers, with other people around the world, and and with future AI uh, entities that will be inhabiting these uh, 3D spaces. So, and I actually checked this uh, definition with um, with Neil Stevenson, who coined the word metaverse. And he's like, well, you know, I kind of made the shit up when I when I wrote the book, <laughs> but uh, what you're describing makes sense to me. So, you know, yeah, and, and Neil for, Steven uh, for Neil. <laughs> yeah, and Neil Stevenson wrote the, the forward to the book. And those who know, he's an extraordinary science fiction writer. Uh, most uh, famed, he, he wrote... Uh, about what's called the young lady's illustrated primer right um yes, yes, and uh, which age. is the, the f <laughs> yes in diamond age um so when i think about the metaverse i think about uh headsets i think about an xr we refer to as both vr and ar correct the, sort of the the going back and forth between the two uh, i think about ai inhabiting and creating that virtual world for you and then crypto being sort of an economic layer for transactions on top of that. Is that fair? Um, yeah. So I, I think right now there's a lot of distinction between people say, oh, this is a VR device or an AR device. The, the reality is that very soon we're going to get to you know, devices. I mean, we're already at these devices here, which are you know, 200 grams. Um, and they already which one is do that? VR, AR. Um, that is the uh, the Vive XR Elite. So yeah, as you see, it, you know, it's, a, it's, it's it's actually one third the size of the Apple Vision Pro, but it does a lot of the same functionalities, and it can see through. It, it has color, you know, high high definition see through. It, it has immersive capabilities, and it has ability to transform into a glasses form factor or more of a headset form factor. So you know th that's already available today. But within the next one to two years, what we're going to find is that these kind of capabilities are going to move into 100 grams and less devices that will look a lot more like glasses than, than the headsets that we, we've seen today. So, you know, uh, the distinction between AR and VR are going to really uh, meld away. And I, I think that's, that's really going to be important because that's when people start to say, OK, I can actually wear this outside. It's, it's both socially acceptable and it's mm -hmm. comfortable. Uh, and it gives me an added superpower of essentially being able to see anything, have access to all of my information instead of pulling a screen out of my pocket, have a screen that's in my in front of my face when I need it. But at the same time, it can go away and I can see through it and be able to to have a connection with the, the physical space that I'm at. And when that happens, we we will people will will uh, will not be debating whether this is going to happen. I mean, when you have right now, you know, people wearing the the Vision Pro out there, it just it just looks dorky. I mean, I, I know, you know looks, people do yeah. it for cloud, for cloud points, um, but I think that that's a, like a temporary thing. But you know, having a fifty gram, sixty gram device on your face that allows you to have all of those capabilities is comfortable. You can wear it all day, and it allows you to have access to any information you want. I think that. That's something that will transform our relationship with uh, computing and with devices in general. 